from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Yesterday for weekend Sundays here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Old Mate took a look at two out of the three Dell Optiplexes I scored in Friday's Tech Acquisitions Hall. For want of a better term. Anyhow, we took a look at the Dell Optiplex 990 Core i5V Pro and this little Dell Optiplex 780. I guess you could call it Nano ATX for want of a better term. But for this video primarily, well, we know Old Mate doesn't have a serial console. What better unit to set it up on than this little Dell Optiplex 780? G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is system setup time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for Monday morning and uh, we're going to be setting up this little Dell Optiplex 780 as old mate's serial console basically for my two sun systems once we can get them up and running again. Um, and the reason I've picked this is based on size and based on what it's going to be used for. If I turn it up the right way, there we go. Where is it? There it is. Serial. Now, this thing is going to have absolutely no internet connectivity post being put into the uh, cabinet. All right. Um, everything will be done via the serial console, meaning that if for whatever reason the SSH fails on, say, the E server or uh, the V490, I can use this to connect to it via serial. Now, what I'm actually going to do with this, we're going to put Debian 8 Jesse on it. We're going to put in my preferred, I should say, and favorite terminal emulation program, MobRX term. And that's what this thing's going to be used for. All right. Now, it is an Intel Core 2 Duo, as we saw yesterday. It's got 4 gig of RAM. I'm going to put Debian Jesse 32 bit on it. Um, and I think Debian 8 Jesse still has LXDE on it, lightweight X11 desktop, which is. Let's face it, one of the better older desktop environments you got with Debian. Um, KDE is going to be too heavy on it. So is probably XFCE as well. So we're just going to bung Debian Jesse on this, get it all set up. And then once the E server and the V490 come back online, we can then start using this. But initially, we're going to just set this up as the serial console. So let's get into it. All right. So. I have Debian 8 Jesse i386 on a USB key. Now I'm hoping this Dell will boot from it. I guess time will tell, won't it? Oh, you saw my face there. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that just broke the camera, didn't it? Huh. Oh, I've done it again, everyone. Ah, uh, power. <laughs> Oops. Everything connected but the power. All right. So what we need to make sure of first is that it actually boots to USB. nothing there we go okay so I know you guys can't see it boot sequence okay so if I zoom in a bit zoom it up a little Oop. You can see here, I'll grab the mouse. You can see here we've got a USB device, we've got that, and we've got a USB CD ROM. So, there are the three USBs. There's no floppy drive. Uh, we'll 
put that down there. Okay, so apply that. Okay, exit. Now it should boot, it should get F12. Should be boot, yes it is. F12 please. There we go. It's a bit better. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take the USB device, which you guys probably can't see properly. But anyway, that's the one we want. What's it? Date and time. It's having a bit of an S fit about the date and time. 05. Hang on guys. Alright, so it's 08 55. Right. So we've got the 11th of May 2020, 5 to 9 in the morning. The boot sequence is right. Exit and we'll go back to F12 and see if we can boot this thing. There we go. Alright. If it wants it as a USB CD ROM. So I don't, the unfortunate thing is, I don't have any um, optical media on board USB CD ROM. Date and time's right. Okay, I'm going to go and have to see if I've got some optical uh, media lying around, guys. Bear with me. Okay, I do have some problems with this little Dell Optiplex computer. You can see here I'm running the um, PBSA, or the Pre-Boot uh, System Assessment. There's something horribly wrong. Um, I found some optical media. I'm going to burn a disc. For some reason, it will not boot from USB. I don't know why. It shouldn't have anything to do with a system battery. So, long story short, I'm going to have to go through this and uh, see what happens. So, once it's finished, I'll be back. All right. So, there's no massive problems at the moment. But I don't think I'm going to continue. So far, everything has passed as best as it can. But another 30 minutes means the day's content gets pushed back even further. So I'm going to say no to this. So you can see um, the hard drive has passed, the memories have all passed. The memory tests, the short tests have all passed. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm assuming that this thing's too old to even know how to boot from a USB. What I'm doing at the moment though is I've found a, uh, a blank DVD, which as we know is you know going to take 70,000 years to install anything to, or from for that matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that disk I'm just verifying it at the moment to make sure it's all right once it's done we'll come back and hopefully we can actually install <laughs> and run 
Debbie and Jesse. Now, for the purposes of this initial system install on this computer, what I'm actually going to do is I have got it connected to the internet. I will have it connected to the internet um, so that I can get the program I need and everything like that. And then I'm going to uh, use Mobber X term via Wine, which is fine. And then I'll be able to actually do everything, which will make life easy. So let me v finish verifying that optical media and we shall be back. All right, so we're going to reboot this system. Go into F12. I've put a DVD in there. So I'm hoping it'll boot. Otherwise, we've got, we've got a hardware fault-finding video to do on this little Dell, which is not going to be fun. <laughs> Tell you what, having this video camera makes it a lot easier to make videos like this. I am doing a slow reboot on this because I want to make sure that the system's stable. I also want to make sure that the DVD drive works because it doesn't sound real good at the moment if you can hear it. Sounds really ugly, actually. All right, hang on a minute. All right, so let's see what happens. There is something definitely wrong with this. Let me just try something here, guys. External SATA. Go through all this again. Hold your horses. Do you want to know something? I think there's something wrong with this Dell. I think there's something very wrong with this Dell. We may have a hardware diagnostics problem here. <laughs> Try and figure out why it won't boot. It could be the optical drivers had it, uh, though I doubt it, but it, it very well could be the optical drivers had it, um, which would be problematic. Although I would have thought the BIOS battery shouldn't actually affect the system booting, but knowing Dell, it probably does. So we'll just see if we can get this thing to boot. It's almost like it's locked up, isn't it? I mean, it's almost like it doesn't want to actually boot to anything. Unfortunately, I don't have another drive to... Well, I do. I can put one of the other two Optiplexes, probably the Intel Core 2's DVD drive from the 980 in if I have to. I would rather not. Although, to be honest, if this thing doesn't fire up, then yes, the other 980, which is an Intel Core 2 Duo, may end up being the serial console. And I'll run the two, the two little Dells. not seeing the CD wrong.
put it into legacy mode. Okay, now let's go to no. on board SADA. There's the other half talking, by the way, guys. Hang on a minute guys, let me just try something here, hold on. Okay, I think the hard, the optical drive in this has had it, so I'm going to swap it out with another one of these drives and we'll see if we can boot it then. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I've got this one here out of the Intel Core 2 Duo 990 Optiplex. Sorry, Intel Core 2. So what I'm going to do is swap this one over. I'm just going to do this in a dodgy fashion. Alright, so we're not going to do anything too funky. You guys can't actually see what I'm doing there, but should get the gist of it anyway. Alright. Now let's see what happens. Whoops, hang on, forgot to put the disc in. Alright, let's get back up to the plasma. It's in frame. Let's see what this does now. Hold your horses. You want to know something? I think we're going to change one small thing. How about I just use the 980 Intel Core 2 Duo for it because obviously there's something horribly wrong with that little one so we're gonna to have to do a little bit of a, a repair job on that but at least this one should work so I'm gonna plug it all up and we'll try and uh, we'll try this one instead all right so let's try this one let's see what it does Hey, there we go. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Debian 8. All right. Let me go and get all this in. Uh, let me get. We'll start the install. Hang on. Okay. So, we're going to have to do a hardware diagnostics on the uh, little Dell, but let's get Debian 8 installed here, and then we can use this as a serial console if we have to. All the way up to Australia. You guys can't actually see. Oh, oh sorry. Let me get the camera in the right spot for you. There we go. American English. I don't know if the mouse is actually working. Oh yeah, the mouse is working. Alright. Well, it's a little shame, but hey, look, you know, 
I've got spares if I need them. Alrighty. So, once I've got Debian all installed, we will... Uh, I've downloaded the whole ISO rather than the net inst um, unit, so I get everything in one hit. I don't have to worry about downloading anything. It's it's just easier that way. Uh, oh. I need to take that other Ethernet controller out. I forgot about that. That's all right. The onboard should be the right one. So you got my buff head there. How's it going? Oh. Um. That's not good. <sighs> Hang on. Let me get this um, other card out, which is just just here. Okay, let's try this all again, shall we? See how this goes. I'll just check that we have got actual network connectivity. Hang on. All right. So, it should work this time. I hope. <laughs> well, in theory, it should. That doesn't mean it's going to, but in theory, it should. So, unfortunately, we'll be using this 980 Intel Core 2 as the serial console, but that's fine. They're small enough, so... There we go. So you can see there, it's now working properly. That's better. Alright, so... Uh, Deb... Deb 8... Console, we'll call this. No domain. So once this is done, we'll have, oh, I'll go through and work out which desktop environment, we'll have a bit of a sticky beak that. I'm just going to use the whole disk, I'm going to put it onto that, I'm going to put it all in one partition, uh, remove, yes, yep, yep. So I'm just going to, this also has a um, laptop hard drive in it, so. I mean this thing, this 980 still has a DB9 on it, I was just hoping to use the real small one, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers, guys. Alright, once the base system's set up, we'll come back and choose a, uh, a desktop environment. Geez, I've got to be honest, but my internet is very slow. <laughs> very slow today. Very slow. The slowest it's been for a while, I'd say. I'm 
I'm basically waiting to see what um, DE I can put into this. While I'm doing that, as you can see here, I've got the seven, what was it? 760 in pieces. And what I'm trying to find out is, uh, well, first off, where the system battery is. <laughs> and second off, why it's dead flat. I've got a bit of an issue in the fact that I can't actually find the system battery on this thing. So I'm going to have to pull it to pieces completely. I suppose what I can do, actually, I can find the top of the other one. Right here. While that uh, goes off and does everything. I'll bring you guys down here to that and we'll try and see if we can find now what I have done is I've put Mobber X term onto this USB key here um, so I just want to find I've got to get a screwdriver I reckon the battery's under here I haven't got a screwdriver down here. Um, bugger. Uh, okay. Um, what I might do... Is... Because see, normally the battery... All right, is somewhere in this area on a Dell. I say normally, but I've got a sneaking suspicion it could be actually under the power supply entirely. Because I have absolutely no idea where else it could be. Let me go and get a screwdriver and we'll be back. Alright. So, get this out. We've got to get this screw out of here. Okay. No, I don't want to participate in that. Might as well kill two birds with one stone here. We'll install Debbie and then try and figure out what happened to this old thing. It could be the fact the bias is locked. That's what it could be. Very easily that the bias is all locked up. But I would have I would have assumed the battery not working wouldn't prevent the system from you know not accepting a boot pro a boot setup that's just stupidity oh, I'm going to take the CPU power out as well hang on uh oh get the CPU power out of it one way or another okay now Get the SATA plugs out as well. So they're jammed in there tight. Alright, well now let's see if we can get the power supply out. Nope. Why can I not get the power supply out? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, ah! There's the battery. So it was under the power supply. Okay, well, I'll see if I've got another battery lying around. We'll be back. Before we do that though, we have some desktop environments to select. So, I think I'll go with LXDE, Lightweight X11 Desktop. And there we go. Alright, let me go find a battery and we'll be back. Alright, well while this is installing LXDE, if I zoom is... Whoa, too far. 
bring you back down to the fine mess I have here. So I've put a new battery in it. Um, I'm not going to worry about this for a while. I'm going to figure out something else to use this for because the unit underneath this will now be the serial console. I cannot be bothered, you know, now that I've got it running, I might as well to keep it going, all right? So what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll look at this little 780 at, an, at, an, at another stage, I think, guys. Um, we're not going to worry about it today. We'll just get, uh, get it put back together and reinstalled. I'm going to get it to sit back in its bossy. There we go. Because I do, I do want to get the um, Core i5 set up with uh, with the other uh, with OpenSense today too. So I sort of don't really want to be spending too much time mucking around on you know faulty systems for the day. So now, where did I put? I've lost the screwdriver, everyone. Um, that's mildly problematic. I've just gone and lost, misplaced the screwdriver. Hang on a minute. All right, so I found the screwdriver again. Okay. So I need to plug all the cables back in. running I don't know maybe if push comes to shove because these are both essentially almost the same computer I might actually be able to swap the hard drives out because they're both Intel Core 2 duos so I may be able to swap the hard drive out and you know, put the hard drive in this one here. All right. And you see here, it just uses a laptop type hard drive. These all do. The, the Dell ran. For those that aren't aware, a lot of these really small Dells, both this one and the 980s, all ran like you know laptop. They're the, they're the bigger laptop hard drives. You can see, where is see they're quite a bit bigger than your average laptop hard drive these days. They're a lot thicker, all right? Okay, because they're, I think these are dual platter, dual platter whereas some of the ones you have today are, are now single platter. So that's sort of their reasonings, I guess you could call it. Let me get this all plugged back up again sort of killing two birds with one stone here everyone because I'm setting up you know I'm sort of doing two setups at once here alright that gets that gets that put back together I need to sort of untangle all of these here Sort of all tangled up a bit. Um, all right, so if I put, it's actually I gotta say the, these really little Dell Optiplexes were a nightmare. I never, I never really did like them that much, just because of how tightly packed everything is. I think I've got that round the whole way actually. Oh, no, I don't. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, it just made it really... I understand Dell's, you know, theory of operation with these, but it really did make it very hard for many people to be able to service them, you know, because everything was so tightly packed in that it made it very difficult to get stuff to fit back in. trying to 
feed cables around the power supply and of course nothing actually fit you'd think they would have used a square ended SATA plug right you'd think they would have used a square ended SATA plug for this but no Dell's their own Dell's their own people when it comes to this sort of stuff Is feed that, get the SATA power over there. Try and, I'm trying to avoid the damn CPU fan with all of this. It doesn't want to shut. Hang on. Let's bring it all out of the road for a minute, I think. I might just bring it all out of the road. Try and, ah! Hang on. After multiple four-letter word combinations of various swear words and that, <laughs> and a little bit of old mate using a bit of brute force, it's sort of back together. It's not great, but it will do for now. And that's all I really am worried about at the moment. Just need to get it to line up properly with the locking pin. And there we go. It is back together. There we are. Alright, so. Might figure out something else to do with that. Don't know what, but I've got this one up and running now, so we're just going to stick with this one. <laughs> I'm not going to muck around anymore. I'm just going to stick with this and be done with it. Alright? As far as the installation of LXDE is concerned, we are slowly but surely getting there. All right. Uh, we know when you install a desktop environment with Debian, it takes a while anyway, so we'll give it a little bit longer and then this will be done and we'll get on and uh, start getting the new firewall sorted out. One thing I am hoping about, if you can see me, there we are. Hello. Um, the Core i5 should boot from a USB key. I doubt I will need to go and hunt down optical media for it. Um, it should be able to boot from a USB key, in theory. So, there we go. Alright, once this is all sorted out, we'll be back. Alright, well we're getting near the end. This has taken a lot longer than I had actually planned for it to take. So... I'm not exactly, oh well, I know I don't have a lot on today, but it, it gets frustrating because you set yourself up with everything and all of a sudden you get in, end up with a problem. Into that. I know a 500 gig hard drive is a bit big, but when I'm doing serial work or, you know, either com work or SSH work, I always save the logs. And they can get big. All right. running open ice scuzzy at the moment and we'll then be done whoop there goes my disc all right job done there we go suits me <laughs> So we'll log in, we'll get wine and then we'll install, uh, we'll install, um, mob racks to and job will be done. And then the next job is going to be getting the new firewall set up. And geez, I, ho I really hope it, it installs off uh, USB. I really do. Debian 8. So, we'll now get wine set up. We'll get this other USB key into it. Uh, yeah, 
yes I do want to do that, I want to take that, cut that out of there, home folder, downloads, paste, So here's LXDE, alright, which is nice. So all I've got to do now is get, uh, I've got to remember where they put it. I've actually got to install it, don't I? Um, next term. It's already in there. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear. There it is down there. Okay, well, I think we'll just do. App install wine. CD-ROM Okay, yes And what this will mean is that we can now just install Mobber X term and I've got a perfectly good serial console now And remember this is only Wine i386 so it's 32-bit which is fine I gotta say, LXDE is possibly one of my still favourite lightweight desktop environments. Sort of, it goes XFCE, KDE, and then obviously LXDE. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go into desktop references, desktop icons. There's the hard drive. Go to home folder, go to downloads, and associate with wine, which should be here somewhere. <laughs> um, oh, I'll, I'll figure it out later. But anyway, there is the serial console all done using, I'll bring it down, this one. Alright, so that's the serial console done. Once I get wine set up properly and I get uh, Mobrex term in, we'll come in. But basically, this machine's now done with Debian 8. So there we go. Stick around because the uh, other Dell Core i5 will be getting OpenSense shortly. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.